In the moments before that Delta pilot was arrested and charged with attempting to fly a plane Calls under the influence the in late July. Engine explosion that killed one passenger on a Southwest Airlines jet. It is on a pilot arrested before boarding a flight from Scotland to New Jersey, charged with trying to fly while intoxicated. The pilot is in court today, and our aviation correspondent David Curley has a story. On a flight to in Mexico, we're treated to that surprise that looks straight out of a movie. That reptile was found on Sunday's flight from Torreon in the country's north to Mexico City. Here you see the greenish snake emerge. Hey guys, I hope everyone's well. I haven't vlogged in so long. I was having trouble with my cell phone. I know it's not an excuse, but I said goodbye to my iPhone 10 and hello to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I've been testing it out for the last three, four days, trying to get all my pictures and videos over to my new phone that has 512 gigabytes. <laughs> So no more excuses with space and phones. I was really happy um, to finally be experiencing my new phone. Now with this said, I know you guys heard the intro and you're like, why did she post like all these videos and, and pictures of like airlines and everything that's happened? Well, as you know from the title, we're gonna be talking about Spirit Airlines and why I love Spirit Airlines. Yes, I love Spirit Airlines. Contrary to a lot of folks out there that just can't wait to bash the airline, um, I've seen so many posts on, you know, nightmares on Spirit, why fly Spirit, what's wrong with Spirit, um, I would never fly with them. They even develop, like, they even open, like, Facebook groups um, just to talk about Spirit and their bad experiences. Now, again, folks, that goes, that goes to say that you know, you'll have your positive and you'll have your negative, whether it is an amazing actor that you love or a movie that you love, you're going to have the positive and you're going to have the negative, obviously. Um, you know, it goes hand in hand with an airline as well. Now, Spirit, when it first started, it was managed differently. Okay. Now, we, they do have a new, um, new management and it's grown so much since. And I have made a list here of all the things that I love about Spirit. So if you guys want to hear all about the positive of the airline, now stay tuned. Now, um, the reason why I have posted and I posted all these videos of negative uh, stuff happening is because for the longest time, a lot of these major legacy airlines, a lot of bad stuff has happened but they have the finances to cover it up, you guys. Like they will definitely, they will just pay lawyers to shut all the media down. Uh, now, it, you know, the information will get leaked, but it won't last as long as a smaller airline that might not have the budget that a legacy airline would have. And when a little something bad happens, you hear about it and people cannot wait to trash it. Um, so online, if you just kind of Google one incident that Spirit had, for example, we did have bat. We had a bat in the plane. Um, we parked it. It ended up coming in. I mean, it happens. The doors open. We get catered. It went in. It probably hid. Nobody saw it. And as the plane was um, leaving the, um, what do you call it, the gate, um, it basically appeared and started flying and people made a big thing out of it and it's like oh my god would you even fly spirit there's a bat blah 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 now as you can see from the intro there's other airlines that's had worse than us i mean if a bat is going to stop you from going on a plane it is crazy i mean look at the other stuff you guys um i mean and it's bad stuff i don't like to repeat them i just think it's bad karma but you know basically all these announcements that um were made at the beginning of the video basically covers a lot of the bad stuff, you know, uh, from the huge legacy that we trust, that we pay so much money for to fly on. Um, you know, we're talking drunk pilots, we're talking sleeping flight attendants, we're talking, um, you know, huge snake in a plane. Well, we don't hear about that, do we? We hear it one time and then it disappears. Again, these big legacy airlines, you guys will cover everything up. Um, now our little company, which is still growing, uh, for some reason, one little incident happens and we are bashed across the entire nation online, verbally, from, you know, from word to mouth. 
So I just wanted to take a minute and just talk about spirit and all the positive of spirit and why you should fly for spirit. So stay tuned. All right, so why do you love spirit? Well, spirit does target a lot of families and folks that don't have the finances to fly, you guys. So I remember when I was in school, I didn't have the money to fly. And I remember people that had a little more money than me were able to fly. So now spirit, what they did is they decided to charge for everything. Okay. Now by doing so, it also made a lot of people angry before, because before when they first started, they didn't do that. And then as the company grow and we changed management, they decided, hey, let's make it more affordable by cutting down all these expenses. And these expenses, in, you know, um, included drinks, seats, carry-ons, et cetera, et cetera. Now everything costs, okay? We are a little bit different. We're like Southwest. Southwest was hated because it was a beginning company, uh, things cost, they were a little cheaper, but nobody liked Southwest to begin with. Now everybody loves Southwest, including me. I love them. Um, and I wouldn't fly any other airline. I just really, really love Southwest. Um, now, same with Spirit. Spirit is growing, Spirit has made some changes. People at the beginning were very angry. They're like, hey, I used to buy my ticket and it included my seat and it included my drink, and it included my carry-on. Now what happened? We cha they changed that over because they wanted to make it affordable. Now when I say affordable, I mean, okay, so you're a student and you're just gonna bring a backpack, okay? And you just wanna go to Mexico and go visit your family or go on a vacation, but the ticket's like three, $400, uh, maybe a one-way, maybe a round trip, depending what time of year. Well, you can fly for super cheap, maybe half that price on Spirit, by just getting a carry-on or a little backpack. If you don't carry a lot with you and you want more money to spend when you're there, then do so. Uh, if you don't want the drinks included, just bring your own water, buy it at the, the airport, or you know what, just bring your own bring your own snacks if you have to, and so that you are not charged in your ticket for it. So the legacy, they're smart. They're like, oh, our ticket is 350, but everything is included. You're actually paying for it, to be honest with you. Now, when you fly on Spirit, we don't include anything, so your price, your ticket price is very tiny. Everything you add will add up to almost the same price as Delta, Alaska, American, United, all these legacies. So if you want to bring your own snacks, you're looking at less price pay point. Um, what if you're not picky with your seat? You know, just kind of like keep it low. So who cares where I sit? Cause I'm just sitting for two, three, four hours. It's no big deal. Um, and then if you're not a picky traveler, this would be the best airline for you to travel because like I said, it's a la carte. When I say a la carte means just like when you go to a restaurant, everything you pick costs and it's not all inclusive. So we're trying, you know, they try to do it that way so that you get to pay for what you want. So it's not inclusive. So the less you want, the cheaper it is. So that's how people, or you know, that's how management thought of it. And um, it is genius in a way. I mean, yeah, you people think, oh, they're making money, blah, blah, blah. I'd rather, you know, it's almost the same thing as Delta. It is the same thing as Delta or the same thing as American. All you have to do is just not be as picky, not bring that many luggage, bring less, and you're not, you're not gonna have all that inclusive you know, airfare. So anyways, moving on to that, we are, actually, I keep on saying we, I shouldn't say that. Spirit, <laughs> Spirit um, has a thing called a penny fare. Now, penny fare is when you go to the counter and for some reason you can't afford the ticket. When you physically go to the counter, they may or they may not allow you to fly for a penny. Now, this helps people last minute and get on a plane or allows people that have never flown before to fly. Now it's not for everybody. Um, I've, I've heard of people getting denied. So if you want to try it, you can try it, but be sure that if you are at the ticket counter and you don't have a ticket, bring your money just in case. Now uh, you may want to try. I heard that if you are at the counter, physically at the counter, speaking to the lady behind the counter, she will make an exception for you. Um, just because, and the fares will be lower than what's online. They rather see you because they're sure you're going to get on compared to somebody that's online that could cancel. So, uh, so you have the penny fare and you have the 
you know, I show up fair. So that's if you guys, you know, if you want to test it out, go to your local airport, go to the counter and try it out and see how that goes. Now comment below, let me know how that works out for you guys. I've heard for some people, they did get it for a penny. So, um, I mean, it's happened. Um, hopefully it happened for you guys as well. Now, um, we were rated number one airline, you guys. Uh-huh. Number one. So if you compare us to other airline, and I'll click either a link or a post that I saw online, um, they are rated number one. Um, now, are we late? Yes, like any other airline. Do we make up for time when we arrive? Yes, we do. We've been late before, and we basically arrive literally 30 minutes prior to. So um, we may be late, maybe an hour or two. Obviously, you're not gonna make up for time up in the air. But if we're late, there's a reason, you guys. Either the winds are really bad, the weather's really, really bad. What we're trying to do is protect you. So if we're late because of weather, please don't argue. Don't say I need to get on that plane because I need to go and I'd rather be flying another airline. The reason why we're late is because of delays and, and, and the delays are there to protect you. I don't want to go through a storm, you guys. I'm a flight attendant. I've seen storm where flight attendants hit the ceiling or folks that don't want to leave their seatbelt on walk when the seatbelt on is on and they're like, I have to go to the bathroom. So they walk themselves to the bathroom, end up hitting the ceiling two, three times, falling on the ground. And I'll put a little clip here from, uh, this is one of my funniest clip. I love that clip. Um, you know, a, a passenger that doesn't want to listen, uh, ends up getting, you know, bombarded up and down. <laughs> That's my favorite clip. Every time I watch it, I crack up, but it, this is like, we tell you, if I'm strapped here and I'm telling you to sit down and you don't want to, I'm not the police. I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. You're an adult. Um, but it's, it's at your own risk is what I tell them. So when I'm seated on my jump seat, I will tell them, go to the bathroom. But it is at your own risk because when you're sitting there on that toilet and we just take a little air pocket, your head is going to hit the ceiling as we go down. Now, once you get knocked out, you're gonna be knocked out for a little while and you're gonna be in the bathroom and I'm not gonna go get you because I'm not getting up. I'm not gonna jeopardize my life for your stupidity when you think about it. So I don't mean to be rude. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get comments down below about that, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm doing my job. I'm warning you and you do what you want, basically. So we do sound like the police sometimes. We do get on the intercom and we try to remind everybody, but we're trying to look out for you guys. That's all we're doing. Um, all right, so with that said, a la carte, um, we're number one on time. Not bad, folks. And okay, so something else about our planes. We have the largest aisle. Guys, I swear to God, I have flown every single airline. Our fleet are by far have the largest aisle. It is incredible. You can literally take your carry-on roll it comfortably with something on top, which most flight attendant, you know, they have their tote and their um, rollerboard, roll a board. Um, so they just go on and I'm not knocking anyone out. Um, now you can go on Southwest and you know how much I love Southwest and I'm not trashing Southwest. I'm just saying that their planes are so much smaller. They're 737, our Airbuses are large. Sometimes they do have Airbuses, but theirs are smaller. Now, a lot of airlines um, that fly within the US or even internationally have small aisles, you guys. That's just the way that they are. Um, so the way that they did it, the way that Spirit did it is that you're more comfortable walking around, okay? Which is important, but as far as seating is, it may not be as comfortable as other airlines, and I agree. Now, the average of a flight for Spirit is between two and four hours, okay? That's usually your average. It might You might have a flight that's longer or shorter, but the average is two to four hours. Now, two to four hours, you don't need to be comfortable. I mean, you don't need to be reclining with your feet up. You know, even if you recline, it's not even that comfortable anyways, because it puts a lot of pressure on your back. So our seats are pretty, they don't, they're they non-reclinable. So what? So what? You're on a flight for two hours, so what, you guys? Keep busy. You know, download a movie before you go, watch a movie, try to upgrade to the front seats. The front seats are so comfortable, the leather is so cushiony. Um, and you know, you, you, need to, you need to outweigh what's best for you. Yes, the seats are not comfortable, Big deal, you guys, big deal for two hours and I just saved $200. Would you rather sit like this for two hours or sit super comfortably and you're like two, $300 
out of your, you know, out of pocket. I mean, it's out of your pocket and you could have used that for your vacation. Like, you know, just think about it. Anyways, um, okay, so now we, they no longer call their passengers uh, passengers, they call them their guests. Um, just recently we paired with Disney and you'll see our Dumbo planes and I'll try to post a little picture right here. We, uh, we now have Dumbo plane. Um, I believe there's one, there might be two, but I, I, I'm sure of one because I've seen it. Um, and you'll see the big Dumbo all yellow and um, you'll see, and, and I like that we have little kids menu and little kids pack and we're, it's very kid friendly on board. So if you bring your children on board, uh, you know that we'll have little kids back. And like Southwest, which just gives pretzels, um, we, do, we don't give them actually, they're for sale. Everything is for sale, even water. So don't get excited, it is. Your bottle of water is $3. And uh, your kid pack, I believe, is between five and eight dollars, depending on which one you take. But it's cute. It's got a little toy in it, and it's got little little snacks and little things to keep your child busy. Now you don't have to buy it, so you don't have to hate us because we're selling it. And, and and your water again, you can buy it before you get on board. But you're probably gonna pay a lot more at the uh, airport than you are, you know, for our water bottle. Anyways, so again, everything is extra. Bring your own, you know. Um, if you don't want to hate us, just bring your own stuff. Uh, so it's very kid friendly and I like the fact that we call everybody uh, a guest. So welcome guests, welcome aboard our guests. Um, we no longer call them passengers, which is what I love about Spirit. Um, I love that Spirit lets you express yourself as a flight attendant. Um, you are not your cookie cutter um, legacy airline where your hair needs to be in a bun and you have to have like the typical you know you can't have a hair out of place you have to be you know exactly you have to have your lipstick every day your nails cannot be long blah 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 um i think this was back in the days they were very picky as to what you weighed if you were married i'm talking back in the 70s they were really picky as far as hiring flight attendants now they've gotten a little bit more comfortable with the fact that people are individual and we're different and they started hiring, you know, people, um, women and men to be flight attendants, but they still have that stereotype. Like if you go for an interview, you've got to look professional, obviously, and your hair has to be very clean. Uh, now spirit wants you to be your own individual person. Okay, so you can put your hair in a bun, you can leave it down, you could have long nails, now, as far as the color, as long as it's with the color of the company, you know, black and yellow, as long as you express yourself and that's how you feel, that's what they want from you. So they know that if you're comfortable, people that you work with will be comfortable and people that are coming, you know, our guests that are coming in the plane, see that you're comfortable with yourself and you're just gonna work better. You know, you're gonna make them feel at home better. Um, if that's even a word. But compared to like the legacy where everybody is like, doing what the company wants, you get uncomfortable because it's not you. So you feel like, this is not me. I wish I had my hair down. This is what I want to do. Uh, now, spirit lets you be who you want to be. Uh, now, and when you're comfortable and you're happy to go to work and you're yourself, it reflects in your personality. And so when you work at 30,000 feet, you're just more apt to be happy and you're more, you know, personable and you're just in a good mood. And that makes a big difference when you go into a plane, when you're, you know, kind of sitting there and you watch all the flight attendants, you'll see they're, they're very happy in their environment and uh, they're very happy to work for the company. So, um, well, another good point. I have them all written down, you guys. So now I could watch, you know, what I do and then I could record with my other phone. So I really like that. Um, so passenger point of view, we have a lot of newcomer, a lot of newcomers, you guys. We have hiring events li literally like every month, okay? So Spirit Airline has hiring events every single month for different bases. Uh, once they fill out a new base, they'll start hiring for old bases just to, you know, rotate because people rotate, they transfer and whatnot. So with that said, when you are new, you are still learning and you're at your best. So with this said, when you are flying, you're not only are you flying in a brand new plane because we have a lot of new planes you guys new planes equal safety they're more up to par with what's going on uh, in the industry um and so you're, you're flying in a brand new plane it's not like a beat-up plane from a legacy that's had it for 100 years um so you're safe 
and you've got newcomers, so they're fresh out of training, okay, you guys? They're fresh out of training, and they want to do their best. They're learning. They're always polite and pleasant because they're learning and they're new. Now, when you see someone that's been working for 20, 30 years, sometimes they're beat up. They're tired. They don't want to be there anymore. They want to retire. They, this is old for them. So the customer service that you get from a flight attendant that's worked for a long time compared to a newbie, I'm not saying all old flight attendants are, you know, grumpy and whatnot, but... It's more likely when you get older and you've done the job over and over again, it's more likely that you'll get one that's just not having a good day or just, you know, like anyone else compared to a newbie that's just fresh out of school and is just always smiling. So that's another positive that I noticed that if you work with a lot of newbie, which there are so many, like I said, we've had hiring events literally for the last couple of years, uh, especially this year. This year has been really busy. Um, so you get a lot of newbies, which is fun because you see them all, you know, cute and <laughs> fresh and ready to go. So that's another one. Um, uh, pay as you go. Yeah. So you pay as you go. You don't be, you know, you don't have to have a ticket for $500 with everything, your water included and all that. Cause it brings up the price of a ticket. So like I said, it's a la carte. Uh, cute. Yeah. We have gummy bears, uh, stick games, gummy bags. We have, like I said, we have a lot of kid friendly snacks on board. Uh, a lot of airlines don't have that. So it's, if you have children, even for yourself, you want chips, you want Pringles, you want anything that you like, even alcohol drinks. We have cosmopolitan, we have all kinds of mixes. So it's kind of fun. If you bring your credit card, make sure you bring your credit card, no cash accepted on board. So, um, yeah, you can also get the fair club, uh, discounts. So if you go online, you can get a lot of discounts on your, um, uh, on your ticket. Um, oh, and another thing that they do also is the lucky seat. So if you're on a flight and you happen to have a lucky seat event, which they do in most flights, sometimes we don't, it depends on turbulence or whatever. But, um, if you happen to be seated on the right seat, uh, you know, and those seats change around, I think. I think um, we will nominate a winner. And if your little tablet has a little green leaf, then you are the winner um, and you get free uh, uh, miles. You get free miles for your next flight. So uh, I would suggest to go online and um, basically uh, add your name, your phone number, your email, uh, start an account with Spirit. And every time you fly, uh, you can get points or miles. Uh, if you are one of those winners. Also, if you fill out a credit card form, um, I think every time you fill out a credit card form, they give you automatically a thousand points, which is a bonus point. On top of you, if you get approved, getting over 35,000 points, which is about seven, listen folks, seven round trip with Spirit. So um, if you guys wanna do that, you're more than welcome. You know that if, and if they don't have the credit card on board, just ask, say, hey, I knew you didn't do the credit cards, but I would love to have the thousand bonus points. Let me fill out my application. You give it back to one of us, a flight attendant, and they will give you a thousand bonus just for filling out the application. So that's pretty good to know, right? Uh, we're one of the few companies that go to South America. Um, and we have a lot of destinations there for cheap, uh, a lot more than other companies. So if you fly with us, I've, I've met people that are like, I can only fly Spirit because you guys are the only one that fly, let's say, to that specific area in South America. So uh, so they fly us specifically. So we have a lot of routes that other airlines don't have. So that's good to know as well. All right, so let's talk about the bathrooms, you guys. We are one of the only fleets, airline, that have convertible bathrooms. When I say convertible, first of all, our bathrooms are huge, okay? So uh, one of our plane, one of our Airbuses has two bathrooms and it's separated by a wall, okay? So we have a choice to go to bathroom A or B or one or two. Now, if there is a wheelchair coming through and you know how it's really hard to maneuver the wheelchair in, there is a way for us to, with the, the use of a key, to actually remotely remove this wall, move it around to make it into one huge bathroom so that the wheelchair can uh, comfortably go in. So if a loved ones or yourself or someone you know um, is unfortunately bound to a wheelchair or needs wheelchair assistance during a flight, uh, we are more than welcome to open that bathroom for you guys. So the aisle is wide for you for the wheelchair and it is wide for you to be comfortable in that bathroom. So with this said, I mean, <laughs> 
is amazing, you guys. Like, you have to really look into it. Um, you hear a lot of the negative, but the airline is amazing. It really is. Um, and our fleets are beautiful, really. All right, so uh, four years in a row, we are number one. I have spoken about that. Uh, we have one of the safest planes, you guys. Now look around. Uh, we might have had one or two little incidents here and there. Um, uh, you know, but like an, an incident. So I don't mean somebody dying or anything. I think there was fumes or something that happened. Uh, and that's that's okay and it's normal. I mean, it's not okay, but it's normal. It happens. It is a mechanical engine. It is, um, it's just like your car. Your car will break down. It's just, it is what it is. It's, okay, you know, something on wheels that we can't predict. But other than that, as far as like crashing or anything happening to one of our passengers, nothing's happened, you guys, in years and years and years. So that speaks volumes, all right? Um, we have added destinations every single month. Like if you go on spirit.com or you go on my Facebook, I will post everything that is added. We have lines that are added from from one point to another every single like week or every couple of weeks or every month. We always add lines. <clears throat> so we're on growing and it is insane how we are growing. And I'll talk more about uh, plants in a little bit. And they get involved in causes such as veterans. They love to fly their veterans once a year. They have them all on the flight and they fly them and they cherish them and they appreciate them. And I like how they, they're so involved in the community. They've done so much. They are actually, when Puerto Rico a hurricane happened, they were only them, and I want to say another airline. I can't remember which one, but it was only these two airlines. We were on, one of the only ones to actually fly in Puerto Rico, bring supply, and bring back family members from everybody that worked for the airline. So if your family was in Puerto Rico, we would fly there, bring supplies to everyone, pick them up, um, and have them on the plane and bring them back home. Um, so we really are dedicated and they stand by their employees. So they're wonderful. Um, way to go. Way to go, spirit. Now on the flip side, if you become a flight attendant and you want to work for spirit, now is this the company for you? Um, definitely a good point because I mean, you want, I've, I've mentioned a few good points if you are on the other end. Um, let me see. The benefits, if you read the fine lines, I can't get into the details and tell you guys all about the company. You'll have to do your own research. But if you read the fine lines, it is one of the best airline with benefits, okay? I've had people from American coming to our company. I've had people <coughs> from JetBlue. <coughs> Sorry about that. A lot of other airlines, legacy airline, will transfer to us because our airline treats their employee amazingly. Okay. Um, another thing is we don't clean our planes. So I see a lot of flight attendants will put their seat belt on every single seat. And after a year or two or three years, um, their back starts hurting. I mean, this is, it's very, uh, it's vigorous labor. You guys, it's no joke. If you're like on four legs in one day, you got to do the entire plane and put seat belts and bend over and stretch. And that's pretty hard on someone's back. Now we don't have to do that. All right. Um, they give us days off. Uh, and they don't remove our days off. I've heard from little regionals where you have promised days off and they're whoop, take them off right last minute. We don't have that. Awesome. Um, also, um, our supervisor are awesome. They're always available and they're there for us 24 seven if we need them. I love that when you get out of training, you guys, you all get a mentor. You get a mentor. Can you believe that? I don't know about other airlines that do that. So when you're all fresh out of a training, there's so much information that's bombarded that you can't remember stuff. So you always have a number to reach your mentor. So I remember texting my mentor literally every five minutes. Okay, I have a question. How do you do this? And how do you do that? And about commuting, about this, about that. And you know, about days off and how do, how do we work on vacation? And no matter what I had for question, any questions, I would just ask him, um, so they assign someone to help you. Uh, now, I don't know if it's all the bases that do that. I just know that Orlando base did that for me, which I was so grateful. And I'm still in touch with my mentor, Michael. So if you're listening, Michael, you're awesome. <laughs> um, I wanted to mention something else as well. Um, yeah, us as employees, we're very well respected by the company. So obviously, if you're well respected, what are you going to do in return? You're going to give it back. And you give it back with love and kindness and you work well, you're on time and you just kind of give back 
to the company because the company is treating you right, right guys? Uh, so we look forward to going to work um, and we're just happy in what we do. So that's really important. Oh, and another thing, that's what I wanted to say. Once you do graduate, you are able to transfer base right away, you guys. So I know other airlines have a waiting period, maybe six months, a year before you could do that. With Spirit, as soon as you're hired, you can get a transfer. So you can put in the transfer, it might take a month or two, but you can do it right off uh, right off the bat. So as soon as you're done with training, you can put in for your transfer, which is wonderful. Um, we have a lot of base, you guys, a lot. So let me try to think of the base that I know right off the bat, um, Orlando. Fort Lauderdale, Detroit, Dallas, Las Vegas, um, and I'm sure there's many others, but we are we have a lot of base compared to other regional and other airlines. I've talked to people and they're like, oh my gosh, you guys have so many base and we do have a lot of base, which is good. Uh, and we keep on opening. There is a rumor that Baltimore might be opening uh, literally around January, but that's just the little buzz in the company. So. If you guys are close to Baltimore or you're thinking of, a, you know, um, either commuting or you want to be based out of Baltimore, it is going to be a brand new base. And with that said, base equal getting a line. So when you're new in a base and you're opening the base, your seniority is right up there. So the good thing about that is that you get a line right away. And then you keep on hiring people, which pushes your seniority up. Um, so that's something to, to remember when you are getting... Um, you know, when you're getting transfer, try to transfer to like a newer base because the most senior base, the more time it'll take you to gain seniority, if you know what I mean. All right. So our new, the new CEO is Ted Christie um, since January 2019. So he's brand new and he's made so many changes, you guys. So the company is great. Um, now, with that said, I have so many good news about the company. All right. So the brand new state of art spirit HQ headquarter campus, including and not limited to administrative office, blah, 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 will be in Dania, Florida. If you guys are familiar with Florida, uh, one mile from Fort Lauderdale, scheduled completion in 2022. They are starting to build one of the biggest headquarters in the world. Get that. Yeah, Spirit. Spirit did this. Spirit did that. But guess what? We're gonna have one of the biggest headquarters, baby. Yeah, okay, so with that said, <laughs> um, so that's pretty good news. And if that wasn't enough, this is dated a few days ago. Um, we have a new order of fleet Airbuses. Today we announced the signing of a uh, Airbus purchase of 100 new Airbus 320neo family aircraft, along with the option to purchase 50 additional aircraft, you guys. Um, this order includes a mix of Airbus 319, 320, 321, delivered 32027. They will be delivered throughout that, you know, those years. We're excited that this commitment to the Neo engine subtype means better fuel efficiency, which means we're going to keep the low costs as far as fare is concerned, an even great range of our aircraft. We'll also be bringing bigger and fuller planes into the market like Lima and Bogota that were previously weight restricted. This is the largest aircraft order in our history. By the time this order is complete, we'll nearly double our fleet size. Are you listening, you guys? All that growth means a lot of opportunity for the Spirit family. Our fleet growth means job growth too. Uh, we're always promoting and hiring since new position open up. So if you guys are interested, spirit.com forward slash careers, C-A-R-E-E-R-S. And that's about it, spirit.com forward slash careers, C-A-R-E-E-R-S page, career page. I don't know if it's together, careers page, or just careers, but try both and I'll, I'll leave the link here. So if you guys want to join a winning team, Spirit is the way to go. It is just an awesome company. Um, and I've just mentioned a few points, you guys. There are so many. We'd probably have a two-hour video I'm trying to keep it under the 33-minute, uh, I mean, 40-minute mark, but... Um, with that said, you may be a passenger listening to this. You may be a potential flight attendant listening to this. You may be just someone that's never flown Spirit and are thinking of flying, um, or you've flown before that didn't know all that information. And now that you know, just know you guys that 
you know, it's really hard to please an entire nation when you either have a product, a movie, or anything. Whatever it is, you're going to have the positive and negative, and you just have to weigh out, uh, you know, and you have to experience yourself. Now, if you've been on one of our planes and you're not happy with it, nobody tells you to come back to us. You know what I mean? Like, nobody says you need to be on board, spirit, and if you didn't like it, you need to take it again. Now, what I've seen time and time again, our planes are full, completely full. I am rarely on an empty flight, okay? It's, it's usually oversold too. So with that said, it kind of speaks volume as to if you didn't like it, you wouldn't be flying us. Or you may be complaining, but you're always coming back because you know our fear are low. So um, either way, you know, we love having you on board. And I know not everybody's happy with the conditions, but you guys think about it that way. You get to save money and that money that you save, you can buy your child something else for Christmas that's coming up or you can make an extra payment on your mortgage or you have that extra money for drinks when you go to Cabo or you know anytime you save money whether it's because your seat wasn't as comfortable and our little tablets are about this tiny which fits maybe a banana <laughs> they do but why do you need such a big tablet anyways like think about it unless you have a huge laptop I get it but to be honest with you I never really put anything on my tablet I really don't um, and if you need it I mean, if you can't fly for two hours and you're complaining and you save that much money, do you really need that big of a tablet? When you think about it in the big, big picture in the realm of the big, uh, you know, the realm of life and the bigger picture, all the stuff that we're so accustomed to, spirit comes along and everything is so different. A tablet is different. They're a little, um, how do you say that where you put the they're their magazines there it's just little strings you know so i mean this could be the, the the drawbacks and the wi-fi we don't have wi-fi yet they are working they were working with the company and they were a brand new company so they started making holes to put the uh, wi-fi on top of our planes we we're so excited about that but they went under they went bankrupt so we were left with like holes in the planes and trying to figure out how to get this new company to um, just a new company to service us at Wi-Fi. So we're still working on that right now. So there's a lot. I mean, again, the company is moving fast. There's a lot of fleets. We are safe, which is most important, you guys. You want to go with a safe company. You know, I, like I said, just replay the, this, the, the beginning video of all the stuff that these legacy have gone through and things have happened. When you compare that to us, it's not so bad. It really isn't. So it is a great company overall, and um, I'm very happy. Um, you know, obviously I can't say who I work for, but I'm sure you figured it out by now. <laughs> and if you haven't, oh my gosh, okay, I read between the lines. Uh, but I am very happy and all my coworkers are as well. Company is great, treating us great, and I couldn't be happier. So uh, if you guys decide to switch over, you're all welcome, we're hiring. If you guys decide to fly us, you guys are gonna have, have the best aisle experience, really. Uh, our new planes are awesome. Our old planes are awesome too, but you know, our upgraded planes are, I love them. Um, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward for you guys to notice a little Dumbo plane one here and there. Hopefully you'll see one in your neighborhood. Uh, sometimes they fly and the kids get all excited because they're not, you know, the sightings are not too common, but when they are, we're like, oh, we saw a Dumbo plane. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, so if you see one, that's great. If not, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll have the opportunity to see it. So I'm really happy. And with this set, I wanted to just take a little five seconds, 10 minutes. Oh, fuck then. 10 seconds to uh, thank everybody that has hired me to help you and coach you. Um, how, how, you guys know I've been coaching a lot um, the last couple of weeks and out of all of my people, most of them got their CJO. I'm so excited. And I'll put a little post right here from their email and their thank you email. And I couldn't be more excited for me to have helped people get their CJO, help them with their resume. I've coached them with question and answers, um, what to expect for the interview. Uh, I have one that just got her Frontier Airline CJO. I've got another one for Spirit CJO. I've got one from Delta. So I love you guys. I'm so happy that you trusted in me. Uh, they did hire me for an hour um, and I did multiple. You know, you can do it for one hour. You can do it for half an hour. If you can't afford the hour, it's very, very affordable, you guys. Um, and also do your resume if you need that. And I help you with your, you know, with like these important words that are going to make you stand out. And a lot of these applications are submitted through a computer service. And I use these magic keywords that make you get that interview quicker than everybody else. So if you guys trust me and um, hopefully you do, I want to help you to succeed. So if you need my services, you email me, you comment, 
uh, go to my Facebook page. Um, you can follow me just about anywhere and you could reach me and you just look in the link below um, the little text that I have the bio. It'll tell you how to reach me and I'm here to help you guys and I want you guys to succeed because I love you. I have faith in you. No matter how many T, B and T or, you know, thank you, but no, thank you. I believe in you and I know you guys are all meant to follow your dreams no matter what the outcome is and I know you can do it. So if you need that little boost, that little pep talk, that little confidence boost before the interview, call me. And if you need any guidance with, you know, questions and answers and, and just, you know, just helping you through the process, call me as well. So I'm just excited for all my babies. I call them my little babies that I helped through all this process. So I'm really happy. So, all right guys, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you so much for following me. I'm so sorry I've been missing in action, but now I'm all yours and I'll be doing more videos with my new phone. So peace out, take care, bye.